What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cole and Jay. I'm Cole. Jay's behind the camera. Say hi, Jay. Hello. What's up? So let me be real with you guys. Fishing has been incredibly tough for the two of us the last like week and a half, two weeks. We have been struggling on the water we fish like all of our local bodies of waters and creeks and rivers. And every time we go out there, we only, you know, manage to catch a couple of fish or get skunked. It's been tough. But today we're back out on a lake that we haven't fished in quite some time. This is uh, Lake Hamilton. It's in the Washita Mountains. It's a really good lake to fish for bass in the wintertime. Um, there's a ton of boat docks. So I'm thinking, you know, if we go around to these boat docks, throw some shaky heads, throw some little swim baits around, we can probably catch a few bass. Fingers crossed. Right here we got about three hours of daylight left. We got here kind of late. And uh, we're going to get out here and see if we can catch some fish. Before we get started, let me show you guys the baits we're going to be throwing to try to catch some of these finicky bass out here on the lake. Uh, we're going to be throwing shaky head like I just mentioned. We're going to be throwing the Six Cents Divine Shaky Head Worm. This is an awesome new worm for Six Cents. They've got them loaded up on their site right now. Um, there's a couple of different natural colors. I've got like a watermelon red here. I've got some green pumpkin ones. And we're going to be throwing them just on these little shaky head jig heads. So it's just a round um, jig heads, quarter ounce. We have some football style ones. We have some screw lock style ones. We're just going to throw them until we either lose them get hung up or until we start catching fish with them. So that's the first bait we're gonna be throwing. Really, really awesome bait. And Six Cents is loaded up on the website right now. If you wanna check them out, we'll leave a link in our video description where you can get these worms. And then another bait we're gonna be throwing are some small finesse swim baits on underspins and small jig heads. My little jig heads at. Here's some little jig heads. These are some Six Cents, little screw lock jig heads. This is a new pack um, that they just released on their site. It's like an Alabama rig pack. Uh, if I had some A rigs on me today, I'd probably throw one, but we're going to stick with just a small finesse swim bait. Um, like I said, all these baits we'll link in our video description. You can find them on Six Cents website. And uh, hopefully, they'll catch the fish today. And one last thing before we get to fishing, Six Cents is having a huge holiday sale right now on the website. We'll leave a link in our video description for you to check that out. Some huge savings, like some of the best savings of the year. So if you're in need for some last minute Christmas shopping ideas, definitely check the link in our description for all of the deals they have on their site. And if there's not a particular deal happening that day, um, you can use our code CJ10 and save 10% off everything on the website. So definitely check that out. And uh, I think it's time to start fishing the sun setting. We got some docks that look extra juicy up here and I'm ready to catch a fish. Let's get one, Jay. Fish on. <laughs> and here's that spot. That's a little spot. Come here, fish. Woo! Yes! Awesome. Well, that was like the first stock I threw at with a shaky head. That's what I'm talking about. Nice little largy. I can handle that for sure. Oh, it's been a while since I caught a bass, I feel like. <laughs> what a relief to have caught one. Okay, let's get this fish back in the water. Sweet. I didn't even, I don't even know if I had my GoPro going. It was like my first cast of that dog. All right, that fish came on a shaky head worm. It's a six cents divine shaky worm. And a new color, green pumpkin flash. It's just green pumpkin, got some like silver fleck in it. And he came right at the edge of those rocks and that dock meat. I mean, it had literally just hit the, hit the bottom, I think, before he, right before he, right when he bit it. See if there's any more hanging out there. Huh. Fish on. You see that? Way up underneath that dock. <laughs> I saw my line jump as soon as it got back up under there. And that's why you skip docks, boy. Get up here. Woo! <laughs> That's why you skip docks. <laughs> that was awesome. I That was a really good skip way back there. And he was way, way back there. I mean, I saw my line jump before I even flipped my bail back over. Beautiful fish, look at that. I mean, just pristine. Oh, Archie Bay got a couple spots on his tail. Just gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, let's get him back. All right, second fish of the day. Got dogs barking. It's a beautiful day on Lake Hamilton. Get out of here. Fish on. Whoa. Look at there. 
finally, it's been a grind. Been fishing for about two hours. Caught those first two pretty quick. And then it's been pretty much dead ever since. Nice little spotted bass. Probably like a 10 inch or base. He's not very big, but he is pretty. Mean guy. Got him on the shaky head. Let's get him back in the water. Fish, fish, fish. We're on him now. That's another little spot. I don't care what it is. Here, big guy. Ooh, and nope, it's a largey. Heck, freaking yeah. There he is, fourth fish of the day. This is like two casts after that spotted bass that I just caught. Uh, like I said, we went through a pretty long dry spell where we weren't getting any bites. We got in some kind of shallow water, and I think that they're really uh, keyed in on this deep, um, steep, rocky banks. And uh, I'm gonna keep fishing. This is our fourth fish, all on the Divine Shaky Worm. It's been a killer today. Tried some other things, didn't work. All the fish wanted that. So let's get this guy back in the water. He's gonna catch a couple more before it gets dark. See ya. Oh, I got one. Fish, 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 fish. Oh. What is that? Whoa! <laughs> Wrong species! How the heck did you catch that on a jig? I don't know. I don't care. I'm just happy to have caught a fish. Look at this mess. She got a big old green sunfish on that hybrid jig. <laughs> big old guy. There must be a bunch of fish stacked right here. This is the same spot where I caught the spotted bass and the largemouth. There you go. <laughs> big old guy. <laughs> now let's get you a bass. I thought you had a big yeah. old bass for a second. Well, I did too, but... Hey, at least I'm not getting skunked this trip. That's what I'm talking about. I was a little worried. I wasn't going to catch anything. <laughs> fish. Fish. Oh, another little guy. <laughs> but that's number five. Get up here. Yes. This is what this lake is famous for. Numbers of bass, about that 12 to 15 inch range. It's beautiful fish though. And they're all just super munching that worm. Like I haven't had one that didn't have that bait, just completely gobbled up. There's like a little ledge system. It's kind of like, it's like a shelf. It's like nine or 10 feet deep and then it drops off to like 20 and then it drops off to like 40. We're sitting in about 40 and uh, all these fish we're catching are in about that 15 to 25 feet of water. Just awesome, awesome little fish. Okay, we we're gonna we're gonna fish this cut. That's as far as we're gonna go. It's starting to get dark, so maybe we can catch one more fish before the sun goes down. Okay, here it is, guys. Last cast of the day. And I think I botched it. <laughs> cast a little bit too far to the right. Ah, oh, we're good. I think we're good. My bait's in about 30 feet of water right now. And I got it. Oh no! Oh my gosh. I didn't know you are filming. Man, I can't believe I missed that fish on my last cast. Like, he hit it so good. It's probably the best bite I had all day, and I blew it. But that's alright. I'm glad we caught five bass and one big green sunfish today. Uh, I'm running out of time now, unfortunately. I wish we could have had a little bit longer to stay out here and fish and maybe try to figure out more of a pattern to find more fish. I know this lake is full of fish, um, but I guess let's come out here another day, spend more time out here and try to catch fish. But it's getting dark, but I get out of here, get back to the house, and uh, we'll see you guys back at the ramp.
right, so we made it home last night, safe and sound, from our fishing trip in Lake Hamilton, and I would definitely say that it was a successful trip. You know, we caught five bass. Uh, fishing's been extremely tough for us the last couple of weeks. Um, the weather's been really weird. The water levels have been even weirder. It's just been coming up and down, and the fish are just like crossed up, and they don't know what to do, I don't think, and I haven't really been able to figure them out either. So I was really excited to land five bass yesterday. But you know, that's what's really fun about winter fishing. It's a little bit more tough, it's a little more of a grind, and each fish is, you know, a little bit more rewarding than, you know, maybe in the springtime when the fishing is a little bit better. Um, but we're gonna keep grinding it out this winter season. We're gonna be fishing all over the place. We're gonna keep trying to bring you the best fishing content that we can and try to get some big bass in the boat. I mean, this is the best time of the year to land some big fish. And while we weren't really targeting large fish yesterday, it was just good, you know, to put some bass in the boat. Uh, but be looking forward to our upcoming adventures. We're planning on going to some lakes that hold some really, really big largemouth, and we hope, you know, to start crushing some PBs pretty soon or just catch some big fish, and uh, we're really excited about it. But that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit the like button, and if you haven't done so already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel so you won't miss out on any of our future fishing adventures. I'm Clarkin, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.